All right, guys, let's walk through all the steps that we need to do in order to download the TIA portal. So here you're seeing that I'm downloading the Step 7 and the WinCC. This is version 15. Uh, most of the course is going to be done on version 15, even though the uh, version 17 is now available. So you can see here that the requirements are you need, uh, you know, a decent processor, an i5 processor, and a minimum of 16 gigs. You could do, no, I wouldn't do 8 gigs. 16 is good. 32 is a little excessive, but 16 is definitely uh, good enough. Uh, if your hard disk is an SSD, awesome. I think most hard disks are now. Um, and you need a decent display to have enough real estate in order to do your programming. Okay, so 16 gigabytes is basically the bare minimum that you're looking for for it to run properly. Okay, so you're looking for the Somatic Step 7 and WinCC version 17 download. And when you go down to the bottom of the page here, you'll find the DVDs, right? So it's the first DVD. You're gonna have to download everything here. So DVD setup number one, all of these guys. Uh, do the second one as well, but you'll start off with the first DVD. And then down below at the bottom of the page, that's where you're gonna find uh, the PLC SIM. So we're downloading two programs. We're downloading the TA portal and the PLC SIM. So you'll notice that depending on where you are, uh, you may have to wait for a little bit for them to allow you to download the program. So I just had to agree and hit next. And here I'm, in this case, I'm downloading uh, the PLC SIM. Okay, it puts in your address that you had from before because you've already got an account with Siemens. You'll probably have to have an account set up in order to access all of this. And you're just clicking each of these guys and going to the next. It's telling you what you're downloading and you move on. Okay, so here you can see that I've got uh, the PLC SIM and the TIA portal now downloaded, right? This is in my downloads folder under the TIA install. Okay, so you can see that these uh, five different downloads are now available here for the Step 7 and the WinCC. And then for the PLC SIM, the four downloads that are there are now available here in my downloads folder. So you're now opening up the executable file on each of them and getting everything starting to install onto your computer. I believe this video is like six minutes. The entire thing takes hours to do and you, you're most likely having to run these guys as an administrator, All right? So here I'm picking English, you pick your language. Okay, that's gonna go into a temporary folder here. So we'll just hit next. It's extracting the package. All of these steps take forever to do. Okay, They're just quickly moving along here. Okay, installation language is gonna be English and I'm gonna hit next. Okay, there are other, uh, other languages that you can make use of there. Okay, you can see that uh, it needs 11.7 uh, gigabytes in order to download the step seven. So you need a larger hard drive as well. And it's gonna be in the program files, Siemens, and then automation file. That's where you're gonna find your programs as well later on. Okay, hitting the next, you're hitting the license agreement. Obviously, if those aren't checked, then you won't have the green lights. So check those guys, green lights, and we hit next to move on. Okay, accepting the security and permission settings on the computer, hitting next. And most of this should be fairly intuitive. So we're gonna install this here. So hopefully you don't have any, any issues. This says 37 minutes, they're totally lying. Could be like two hours. And in, many times you're gonna have to start and restart the computer. Okay, so you can see here that it's now initializing. And again, now going through the setup. Almost there, I got two minutes left. And we're finished and we have to restart a computer once again. Okay, make sure that you check for updates automatically. Okay, you'll want to update the software. It's, regardless of that, you want to update the software as soon as you open it up. Okay, you'll see here that I have the TIA administrator. I've got the license manager now and I've got my TA Portal uh, 15. What's not being shown there is the PLC SIM. I'm going to download that in a little bit. I'm not gonna show that on this video. So here I'm opening up the TA Portal. I'm gonna go through all these steps on how to open up your first project and how to have everything set up. You can see there that I'm in the user's computer document and automation file. Here I'm just opening up uh, the project and then most likely going to the project view next. Okay, I'm gonna to go to the ungroup devices. 
Obviously there's no device yet, so I'm going to add a new device. And I'm doing this because I want to show you that uh, it's going to say that I don't have a license available. So I'm doing unspecified CPU. And then it says no valid license key was found. But I have the 21 day um, uh, trial version that I can activate. So I'm choosing this and then hitting activate. Beautiful. Now I have a PLC that's available. So I'm going to click that bad boy and then hit OK. Very nice. Now I haven't like tied it into the actual PLC that I'm working on. So you just have a generic PLC there. Here's my main OB and I'm able to drag and drop my instructions into the program. And again, we're going to go through all these steps and how to set up all of the, uh, the tags and, and everything for each of your um, instructions. I'm going to minimize this now. I'm going to show you the license manager. This is where you're going to see the actual license. It's either going to be on your local disk. In my case, it's going to be on C. And there is the, uh, the trial license. Once you do purchase an actual license, then it will most likely be on a USB stick. And so you'll want to um, transfer it over to your C. You can't, I, have, I found that you can't use it on the USB. And you'll see here that it's green showing that I'm actually using that trial license at the moment. And you can see that over in the top right hand corner there that it was valid for 21 days. So we are all set up now, guys. And in the next videos, we're gonna to start to set up everything in order to um, you know, bring our appropriate PLC in and how to do our each of our programs. But at this point, uh, after a couple hours, this is gonna take a long time, uh, you're going to have both the TIA Step 7 in installed, right, with WinCC, uh, and you're also gonna have PLC SIM installed as well. All right, guys, I'll see you on the next video.